This is one of multiple videos discussing layer 3 switching. In a previous video, I showed you how to configure the switch for inter VLAN routing. I demonstrated how to configure multiple interfaces in different VLANs and then enable layer 3 functionality on the switch to allow it to route from one VLAN to another. Another function of a layer 3 switch is to run routing protocols. So in this example, what I'll do is connect the two switches together on gigabit 1 slash 0, and we'll enable a routing protocol between these two switches. In addition, I'll bring another PC into the topology. And in this example, we'll put this PC into a separate VLAN. What I'll also do is make the ports between the switches routed ports rather than switch ports. So this link will act as a routed link, in other words, layer three link, rather than a layer two link. I'll start up the additional switch and I'll configure the third PC with an IP address and let's say the 192.168.0 subnet and click Save. And I'll start that PC up. I'll open up a console to the new switch as well as the new PC. So the second switch will take a while to boot. While it's booting, I'll configure the first switch in the topology. So on the first switch, interface gigabit 1 slash 0, I'm going to use the command no switch port to make this a routed port. The interface has come up now because the other switch has booted. I'll configure an IP address on this port in the 10.1.10.0 range. So notice now, show IP interface brief. This port acts differently to the other ports. It's a routed port. So we have the IP address shown directly on the interface. On the second switch, hostname switch two. Gigabit zero one needs to be configured as a routed port. So interface gigabit one slash zero, no switch port. IP address 10.1.10.2. Ping 10.1.10.1, which is switch one. So switch two can now ping switch one. Show VLAN brief. Switch two currently only has VLAN one. I'll create another VLAN, let's say VLAN 20 or Let's create one called VLAN 192, and then I'll create an SVI of 192. We configured this PC with a default gateway of 192.168.0.1. So IP address 192.168.0.1 slash 24. And I need to no shut that SVI. So show IP interface brief. We've now got this IP address configured on an SVI of 192, but we need to put the physical interface into that VLAN. So show IP interface brief. SVI is configured. This interface has been configured in VLAN 192, and we can prove that by doing show interface gigabit 00 switch port. It belongs to 192. So show IP interface brief. Interface has now come up. So PC3 now should be able to ping switch 2, which it can. But these PCs over here will not be able to ping this PC and vice versa until we enable a routing protocol between the switches. So on switch one, 
I'll enable EIJAR P and simply enable it on all interfaces and disable automatic summarization. I'll do something very similar on switch two. Enable EIJAR P needs to be an autonomous system 100. In other words, the same autonomous system as the other router. And disable auto summarization. We can see that a neighbor relationship is established. So switch two has an EIJRP neighbor relationship with switch one. So switch two should have learnt about routes from switch one, which it has. It's learnt about network 10, 120, 30, 40, and 50, which are the subnets on these VLAN interfaces. We can see that by using the command show IP interface brief. Notice the IP addresses on the SVIs, they were advertised through EIJRP, and switch two has learned that. So in this topology now, PC3 should now be able to ping PC2 as an example. So here's PC3, can it ping 10.1.5.1? Yes, it can. What about PC1, which is 10.1.2.1? Yes, it can. Let's do a trace route to 10121. What we should see is that it hits switch two, which it does. Then it should hit switch one, which it does. And then it should get to the destination, which is PC1, which it does. So that's an example of how you configure layer three switches with routing protocols to allow routes to be advertised from one layer three switch to another. Hope you enjoyed this video. If it's been of benefit to you, please like it and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I wish you all the very best.